What's up everybody, this is Storm from Storm and Blackbird and last Friday the map competition has ended but today the voting has started. I will tell you all about the map competition right now and I will also explain what will happen in the future as this has been a very successful event for map makers out there. Let's kick it right off with the voting rules. Obviously, a user yeah, such as yourself on Open Carnage would be very much qualified to be voting for these maps. So therefore, you had to have at least 5 posts on the forum. Don't worry, Open Carnage is a very friendly forum. You can absolutely post anywhere you like. And also, the entrance to the submissions themselves cannot vote for themselves. That's obvious. And so, we're gonna go ahead with the prizes, which is $50 if you f win first place, 15 raffle tickets, and that's for uh, the functionalities of this forum in which you can give in your tickets and hope to win some things. What it'll be, you'll find out for yourself. And also, everyone will get emailed about your map winning the competition. So, second place will obviously not be funneled with, because they'll still get 30 US dollars, that's amazing still, and 10 raffle tickets. But clearly you definitely want to have everyone being mass emailed about your map being the first place of them all. That's the real price right there. Third place will get 5 raffle tickets, just so for the compensation of being third place. So let's run down all the maps that have been submitted till now, which are 6 maps. First we got Operation Perch Point, the first demo, I think you have seen this quite a lot recently in Halo C now, and I don't blame you, I always get the submissions for this campaign, so you will get to play the single player map as a demo first of all. This is a huge, huge campaign, and this demo just encompasses a small sphere of what is to come. Number two, we have Pope's Hem Oasis, the newest sensational multiplayer map that plays like Halo. Right here on Open Carnage you can vote for it. And I don't need to tell much about this map, you already know about it, you've watched our gameplay, I assure you that it is enjoyable as fuck. Number 3 is Cap Cage, and this is also a map we've played before, and you can definitely vote for this as well. It has been designed so to make Rat Race look a bit femable. And number 4, we've got Giraffe's Test World 1 Stage 1 demo. And I'm not gonna spoil anyone here since it's just one image. Uh, this is a single player map and it challenges you like a motherfucker. Number 5 is from the host himself, Tucker's Ice Flowy. Or Flowy. Flo something like that. It is an Ice Fields mod. Yes, you can even submit mods. Even the host will demonstrate it for you. And you, as you can see by the images right here, you'll definitely tell the origins of it being from Halo PC. And I guess you can vote for it as well, just so maybe you are a fan of Halo PC custom maps, because that exists if anyone knew about that. And last but not least, this may come to you as a surprise, because certainly it did to me when it first came out. Altus has created a new map called GTA Beta 3, which is a map where you can have a bird's eye view of everything, and it is styled from GTA 2, which means you get the wasted sign when you die, and even have the announcement just like back then. It is a, it's an innovative map right there, and I'm pretty sure it will get one of the top two places, but that's for you to decide. I'm not going to tell you who to vote for, because that's not the fundamentals on how to vote things, right? But still, these submissions are rock hard, so you have your choice, and they are not disappointing. Though don't worry, you can have your chance to play these maps with a couple of people, and that's this Tuesday, the 14th of November, 5pm Eastern Standard Time, where all the multiplayer maps being submitted to the map contest will be played and also will be streamed to Twitch and open Carnage's very own. All the server details will be posted 30 minutes before they start. As for me, it's gonna be an 11 p.m. Tuesday, so pretty much your standard night on a Tuesday being boozed up. So will this be a one-off thing? 
Nah, map competitions will continue as long as there's a bunch of interest. But what's also planned for the next year is the so-called Asset of the Month, plus its Hall of Fame. So what you can do with this is you yourself can submit just one asset for Halo Custom Edition every month, which must be fully tagged, as in a weapon, vehicle, scenery, character, as such. You yourself have to create that asset and not, well, rip it from someone else. And to further proof that you've released it in that time period, you should definitely make a thread about your asset in the very time frame this competition is being held, and therefore it can be qualified to enter this asset of the month competition. As for what you can make an asset, it's pretty simple. We have a team list for all the months on 2018. So first, the fall in January, you can do anything you want. And that's a, a correct team because every second month from there, that point, it's going to be free for all for you. Uh, next is February, which will have winter or ice themed. Because fuck the hell, if you're not Australian, in this is definitely a freaking winter paradise in this month. March is also anything you want. April is organic. Now I don't know what the hell that means, but I'm guessing it's about spring. You can submit anything on May. June, however, this is a very exciting one. You can make medieval assets. Uh, this will be, this will be more creative. Things start to come out, I guess. This should, this should definitely prove someone's point. In July, my favorite month. It's definitely anything you want. August, oh boy, August is retro and sci-fi. September as well is anything you want. October, the month where Halloween happens. Again, it's going to be a horror theme. November, of course, anything you want. And December is a festive theme. <laughs> Guess you didn't expect a freaking Christmas tag to appear in December, right? Ah oh, man, you were all fooled. So however the month will start, the first seven days will be considered voting days. And therefore, once those days end, the winner will be decided at this seventh day of, uh, of each month. Yeah, that should be right. If you win one of these competitions, you'll receive 20 US dollars plus 10 raffle tickets. And that will make sure that your work will be rewarded. And unlike the map competition, this one only has a first place. And whoever gets to be first place will be placed in the Hall of Fame. And that is the Open Carnage map competition and its future competitions right here. If you want to know more about all of this, you can go ahead and register yourself on the Open Carnage forums. I did so today, because I am now sick and tired of not being able to like these topics. Because that will actually give them the raffle tickets. Sweet, right? Anyhow, I am Storm from Storm and Blackbird, and we will see you in the next map competition. Whenever the interest peaks, and I'll make sure that will happen. Sincerely.